What's going on, everyone? We have another zero tolerance today. This was loaned in from Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods, and you know the drill. Boom. Promo code. Link to his website down below. Go check him out. Get 10% off. Okay? Enough of the commercial. So, this is the ZT0762. Okay? Tells you a little bit about it on the box. And... Here it is. Now, this is another example of ZT being a little bit unique looking, much like the one I, the video I just did a couple days ago, with also a rather unique looking ZT. Not my aesthetic. Okay, I know I've been doing a lot of videos lately that of knives I don't really love which is cool I I want to see all the video all the knives and I want to share them all um, and I think for me personally it's important to do videos on knives that I don't really love because I think I'm too jaded I think I try to be objective and but I have had people tell me that they can tell when I don't like a knife or when I really love a knife. And I think that's probably true um, in some degree, yeah. Because I'm super excited about certain knives and I think I ramble a little more, or, you know, talk more enthusiastically about them or whatnot, right? So I'm sure that's the case, but I try to not do that. And even on the knives I don't like necessarily, try to be objective and give you guys really just the stuff. Really, my goal here is to just give you the specs. And yeah, 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 yeah. You can read it all on the website. You can type in ZT0762, go to any number of websites and get the sizes and the weights and all of the stuff I'm going to tell you. When I do that for knives... Almost every website has different dimensions. I don't get it. I, I, I don't know, okay? So I measure every single knife before I do the video. So let's dive right into the specs since I just measured these. Four and five eighths closed. Just a hair over eight inches overall. It's got a little stuff on the blade here and I didn't wipe it off well enough before I did the video. So, hey, you get what you get. 3.43 inch blade with a 3.67 cutting edge. CPM 20 CV, 0.119 thickness, 0.487 overall thickness minus the clip, runs on bearings, and weighs just 2.9 ounces. It is super, super light, okay? Fits very well in my hand. You don't feel the pocket clip at all. It literally disappears in your hand. Okay? Is a frame lock. The flipper tab is not super comfortable. Okay? And we'll zoom in here. It's when you kind of grab it, it's kind of pointing into your finger. It's a little pointy there. So, yeah, I don't love that. It fires really well every time. Nice satin finish on the blade that is really reflecting the light. ZT logo on there. Very nice carbon fiber with a lighter blue uh, liners. I love that. Reversible clip. I still wish they would not put ZT on the clip. I don't I, I wish all knife makers would just leave the clips totally blank. Okay, but I love the blue. The blue on the lock bar has a steel lock bar insert. And you guys know carbon fiber is my thing. And your typical ZT stuff on the back. A serial number, uh, model number, and the blade steel, right? Typical ZT affair. This shape doesn't do anything for me. The carbon fiber really gets me going. The blue and the carbon fiber I think is awesome. Um, I almost would have done black pivot to match the, the hardware, 
but I get it. It kind of matches the blade and ties that in. I can go either way on that, honestly. The clip works really well. It's just a bent titanium clip. This one is a hair off center, okay? But the blade is solid, so I didn't mess with it. There's no blade play or anything, so yeah. These run about 320 bucks on the Wild About Sporting Good website. Get 10% off. You can uh, do the math. So all in all, it's a cool knife. The shape doesn't really do it for me, but it does give you a lot of belly. So this would be a good working knife, no question. And it's super light and it's brand new. It'll break in a little bit, I'm sure. Uh, could probably pop it open, put a little more lube in there or make sure that it's lubed well because there is a little bit of a sound. So it could be running a little bit dry on this one. But yeah, I would just use it the way it is personally. Uh, and it will probably break in very nicely after another hundred or so flips. So anybody that buys this one, once I send it back to Gil, we'll get one that's probably broken in because I've been playing with it a bit. Um, so yeah, there you go. I don't really cut anything with the new knives. I don't carry them. Uh, I do put them in my pocket. I carry them around the house just to make sure I understand how it feels and works in the pocket. But I don't carry them out. I don't do any cutting and stuff with them. So rest assured, any of the brand new knives that are going back to retailers, they are still brand new if anybody buys them. Okay, here it is next to Sharpie. The also famous Delica that glows in the dark that I absolutely love. The Kubi KB237, which does not glow in the dark yet. And how about the Quiet Carry Waypoint? Very similar, you know, kind of look, colorway and stuff. So all in all, it's a cool knife. It's just not... I don't know. It's kind of starting to get out there in looks for me. So eh, it's not one I have to rush out and buy. But I have been thinking, right? I haven't bought really any knives since I bought the Frank Fisher Battle back in March for my birthday as my birthday present. And after I got back from my vacation, I kind of looked at all my knives and I was like, you know, I don't really have anything I want to carry. <laughs> so I may be looking to buy a knife or two here soon. I don't know. If you guys got any suggestions of a knife that I need to own, let me know down below. Might be interested in that, you know, okay, that might be a cool thing. Maybe I'll do a, a community poll uh, on my channel just to see. Maybe, I don't know. What knife am I missing out there that I don't own? that I haven't even checked out maybe. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And uh, as always, we'll see you tomorrow.